and there's been a comet impact and we're expecting the sky is going to be bad too. There's going to be oh, it's got dark because there's a lot of stuff up there. It's stuff, and that's what I think is that six foot layer. Yeah. Like frosting over all of the flood zones, right. you see this six, seven, eight foot thick yeah. layer of yeah. stuff called bus, yes. which clearly had to come out of the atmosphere. Yeah. It's like the Miracocha legend, he came at a time of darkness. Yeah. Wasn't there something in there about the legends, like a, a black rain or it something? It was, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Black rain, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, these kinds of things to me suggest all of the, the myths and the stories. You know, we need to look at those. We need to look at them very seriously. Seriously. And see them as eyewitness testimony see them, yes. of events that occurred. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Yep. This is dramatic. Very dramatic. Well worth the drive. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. And I'm the sure. gap, when we say the gap, that's it there, or the, that's the gap. Yeah, this, this right the whole here. thing is the, is the gap for about, you know, three or four miles. Yeah. It's a mile across right, right. now. It's probably a little more than a mile from where we're standing over the Twin Sisters. Right. And it's probably the gap itself, I don't know, three to five miles yeah. through here. Yeah. Walula Gap. Walula Gap. And then this is the Pasco Basin. This also would have been the potential plug for all kinds of icebergs yes. coming down and creating some of the layers like you saw in Burlingame Canyon because that is up Walla Walla Valley there to, to the to the west or to the east that way. Yeah, Excuse up me. in there is a valley that for those rhythmites, those rhythmical layers that we looked at this morning. What I'm seeing, once I've seen them appear somewhere right down below us are hundreds of erratics, iceberg rafted erratics. And all throughout the flood pathway are erratics that were yeah. carried by icebergs all the way down into Eugene, Oregon, the right. south end of Willamette Valley. Right. You got a picture, you got a big scene choked with thousands of icebergs. Wild scene. Wild scene. And all of that is converging right here. Yeah. And over on the other side, we can't see, well, we'll yeah. see that lake. That's where I showed you the big circular erosional right, features. Right, right. That clearly shows just how turbulent yes. this stuff was coming through here. All of these icebergs are going to get jammed in here. Right. And what that's going to do is cause the water level to rise. Yeah. The pressure increases, pushes this down through the gap. Yeah. The water level drops until the next jam occurs. Right. And I think what we're seeing is a pulsating hydrograph. Right. That Every time it rises, it back floods further, you know, up up the valley. Right, right. And then the water level drops, and you see where those rhythmites are yeah. is close to the highest extent of the back flood. Right, right. So what you got out here is this, like I said, pulsating height. We're on high land here, and there's the human beings trying to flee this way, trying to flee up here, and they would still sweep. Them. Oh, we still sweep them away. Yeah. yeah. Still sweet. In escape. Yeah. Remorseless. Remorseless. And the thing is, even if you were on high enough ground, yeah. the other conditions going on probably they, they survive. Yeah. Just be awful. Awful. Awful.